Hello, welcome to Noraverse, and today it's Nora Makes Drinks. I am so excited. We're going to be making the most delicious, lovely, viral TikTok drinks like this one or this one. I know they look incredible and we're going to see if they're as tasty as they look. Let's see. As I'm working in the kitchen today, I'm going to need my little apron. Whoops. Don't want to make my outfit dirty with them drinks, you know? Sometimes I can be clumsy. Not always. Sometimes. Now, that's done. We got a cute little bow. Our first drink of the day will be a frozen blueberry parade. I added the parade part because this drink just makes me so happy. It's such a vibrant, beautiful color. Let's see what the TikTok recipe needs. We're gonna need a few simple ingredients, a cup, a glass, a jar. I'm using this beautiful wine glass. You're gonna need some milk. You're gonna need some frozen blueberries, some fresh blueberries, and a spoon. Oh, let me not forget whipped cream. The most important delicious thing of any creamy drink. How he starts the video, or she, is you pour the frozen blueberries into the glass. Oh no, we gotta spill, spill on aisle four. Now we're just gonna neatly, gently, just kind of crush them. These are so small. His recipe has way bigger ones. Still crushing. So you go like this, this is my trick. And then you just like squish it in. Squish it against the side. Okay, now we're going to pour the milk. Whoa! Now we're gonna shake it, I mean, stir it non-stop until the color actually turns blue, blue, blue. It's already such a beautiful lavender color. That's why I call it a parade. So I'm gonna keep stirring it because I wanna make sure that it gets that nice blue color. Look, it's already a little darker. Ooh, I wanna try to squish the blueberries in there. Juice them out. Yeah, look, they're like hitting against the side of the cup. It's like a bloody scene. Beautiful. So I'm gonna do that for about 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I think the color is... Oops, I got my lipstick on it. A beautiful color. We're not tasting it yet. That's ready. Now, we're gonna grab the whipped cream. Make sure you shake it well, because this is where you get the most beauty out of this drink. Whoa, the whipped cream got everywhere. Good thing I'm wearing my apron. Now, we're gonna put the little blueberries on top of the drink. Maybe I need to do it higher. There you go. That's the stuff. One, two, three. One just as an accessory. Ah, it's beautiful. This is the final result of the drink before we try it. I added a little more whipped cream. Look at the blueberries. Delicious. Time to try it. Frozen blueberry parade. It literally tastes like a lot of milk with like crushed blueberries and things are not coming out of the straw. Mm -mm. I mean, I like milk and I like whipped cream, but it's really just a beautiful color. It's just like a slightly flavored milk, maybe without a straw. Mm. I'd give this like a one. <laughs> Drink number two time, and it's going to be the most delicious popcorn frappuccino. Now it is in a language I do not particularly understand. I think it's in Spanish and I'm just gonna eyeball this one because it looks so yummy. So let's see what it needs. for the popcorn frappuccino is soak some popcorn in milk. <music> Yummy. And now we're gonna pour some milk. 
Here it is with the milk. He wraps it like this and he lets it rest for those something. I'm gonna assume it's two hours. So I'm gonna put this on the side. I guess in the fridge for two hours and I'll be right back. This bad boy is ready. It actually smells delicious like buttery milk popcorn goodness. I'm obsessed. He pours this into the blender and that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So this deliciously popcorn flavored milk is inside. We need a shot of espresso. Now I know this cup is misleading. It says cappuccino, but it's actually little espresso. And we're gonna also put a shot of espresso inside. He also adds some ice. So we're gonna pull this out. <laughs> that was harder than I thought. And now finally it's time to blend. Okay, I think it's ready. Ah, no ice, it's all crushed. First thing he does is he grabs some caramel and he kind of like puts a design inside the cup in a beautiful fashion. We got this and now we pour this beauty in here. That already looks so good. We're gonna get some whipped cream. Whoa! Add a little bit of popcorn and a little bit of caramel drizzle. Time to try this beauty. It's actually so easy and so beautiful. Literally took me like five minutes, except you know the two hours I soaked the milk. Oh my God, it's delicious. It's actually amazing. The popcorn milk, and then the cold icy coffee frappuccino like all blended together with the whipped cream and the caramel adds a perfect sweetness with the saltiness of the popcorn. Mm. Wow, this is like a perfect movie drink. This one is a 10 out of 10. Our third drink of the day is a cake on cake. Cake drink? Anyway, it's gonna be yummy. I think this one's gonna be a guaranteed delicious decadent mwah, type of thing, you know? Here, look. This one's actually really, really simple. We're gonna need an empty cup and we're gonna stuff a cake inside. This is a chocolate mousse cake. You can use any cake, I think. Then you're gonna get some hot, hot milk and pour it in there. I think that's a good amount. And now I'm just gonna mix it. God, I hope this one's gonna be yummy. Oh, it's already so pretty. I think we need to mix it for like 30 seconds to make sure all the cake bits are out of it. It's gonna end up being like a whipped delicious drink. Now what we're going to do is get some whipped cream and you're just gonna layer the bottom of it. Make sure the whipped cream doesn't come out of the cup. Oh, that's so pretty. Now we're gonna grab a cake and we're gonna put it sideways like that. And here is our cake drink. That actually looks beautiful. I like it. Now I'm really, really, really excited to try this one. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. Little bits of cake and the chocolate um, swirls are in it and then the mousse. This one's perfect. This is like a 15 out of 10. It is magnificent. Cheers. The fourth and final drink today is the one I've been looking forward to the most. I call it the everything in one, everything delicious, everything decadent, everything yummy. Ooh, chocolatey, gooeyness, all in one, blended and made into a scrumptious dessert-like drink. Here it is. Now this one needs a lot of goodies. As you can see, I got some vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, donuts, sprinkles, Nutella. I got some chocolate syrup. I got some like, instead of pokey, some cal, chaldean, I don't know, some chocolate sticks, these bad boys. I got the little Oreos, big Oreos. 
cream cheese. Yeah, I think that's it for now. First step is we're gonna get our little mug, family size Nutella. You can have any size you want, but look at this. Are we ready? It's perfectly melted and nice. It's a brand new jar. She like kind of spreads it with a knife, but I'm just gonna do this. Oh yeah, that's so satisfying. There it is. Now what are we gonna do with this? We're gonna wrap it, sprinkles all over it. Whoa, there you go. A beaut, yummy. Grab some chocolate syrup and we're gonna just pour it all over the bottom of the cup. Yes, just like that. Get it all nice and messy. Now we're gonna get a blender. We're gonna put half of a cream cheese. We're gonna put some chocolate ice cream. I think one scoop is good. That's nice. nice. We're gonna put two Oreos. One, two, and then we're gonna put a little milk. Just a little more. Now, we're gonna blend this yummy mummy. Let's do it. Okay, let's see this. Oh, if that doesn't smell absolutely perfect, I don't know what does. Now we're gonna pour this in here. Look at that, perfection. So we're gonna put a chocolate covered donut just on top like that. And now we're going to put a vanilla ice cream scoop. Whoops, good save Nora, good save. We're gonna put a nice vanilla ice cream scoop right on top. Hopefully it doesn't fall. It's not looking like a circle. It's so like thick like cream that it doesn't become a circle. I need like a more circular Scooper, I'm gonna do it with my hand because I want it to be perfect. That's it, that's what I wanted. Now that we have that finished, we're gonna grab the little sticks because I am couldn't find pokies for the life of me. And we're just gonna stick that in there. Yes, don't break. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now we're gonna put an Oreo like so. Time to add some sauces as a topper. Ooh, ooh, yes. That's the chocolate sauce. And I want some strawberry sauce as well, because I want some color. Whoops. <laughs> I love it. Last step, add in a straw right down the middle. And we're gonna try this baby. Wow. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. The cream cheese is perfect for it. Or the chocolate ice cream. Mmm. Yum. Yum. I love it. I definitely won't be able to sleep for like three days, but it was worth it. I feel like I have chocolate all over me. <laughs> so here we have it. The delicious, lovely, yummy four drinks that we tried. We have the cake one. We have the blueberry. We have the everything and then some and we have the popcorn and we have the remnants of the drinks they were from like 1 to 15 wonderful am i going to have a massive sugar rush after this hell yes because this is a lot of sugar like i don't know if you guys know this but i'm more of a savory person these two oh my god they're like decadent bombs of chocolate let me know if you guys have any favorite viral tiktok drinks you want me to try let me know in the comments below make sure you leave a like subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys later bye